Hello and welcome to the Northern Noobs basic guide on how to earn money on tacky stand life. With me I have... What's your name fella? Zahid. Zahid. And my name is Jamil. And we are your guides for this short video. So first of all, we've spawned in and for the purpose of this tutorial if you ignore our current bank balance because you would normally start with 100k. So basically if you press M and go straight to your map, first thing you're going to want to do is go to Tacky Ropes and we're basically going to buy a backpack which is going to aid us in collecting our goods a bit later on. First you need to go to the ATM. That's a good idea. So we get that. I'm on the ATM. Okay. And I'm going to withdraw some money. I'll take about five, uh, about ten k if you're to look nice. Oh, five yeah. k for your backpack. So maybe, maybe just take five k for your backpack. And what do you reckon, James? Another thousand? Another five k. Another five k. So take ten k. That leaves you with ninety k. Yeah. yeah. For those of us who can't do basic maths. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh, Jesus. Well, there's another uh, basic rule in Pakistan life, just keep off the goddamn roads. Oh, right, I'm, I'm with any interaction in here, use a middle mouse to scroll. And if you can't see your yeah. character, stand where yeah. I am. If you stand in basically anywhere apart from where Zahid is, basically this happens. You can't see yourself. So it's best to stand over here. Oh, the mosque's on. Yeah, so what you want to do is basically buy this backpack. <coughs> This is the only backpack so far. Right. Now we want to buy your driver's license, which to be honest, we're going to have to withdraw some more money, I think. Let's go and see how much it is first. Oh, there's a chopper there. Luckily, the way this map's laid out, everything in the uh, spawn city is pretty close together. But it's right. 5k. I've already bought it, so I can't see how much it is. 5k. 5k. So basically, what you normally do is buy a driver's license from here for approximately 5k. Again, if you need more money out, you've got the cash machine just over there. Uh, and then we walk Next along to the car shop, which is just here. You would buy any car route. And if you have enough money. SUV is probably the best. I would, well, personally, I would say buy the off road because I think it's got more storage space. So I'm going to yeah, go withdraw 82k, which are basically empty or would have emptied my beginner's bank account. But it's worth it if you bear with us. Pick the colour. In, uh, you forgot one step. Is that you, James? There. Yeah. Food. Uh, you don't need. You don't need food for for the purpose of this. You can do it in well enough time. So it's it's not worth spending the money on food when you can, uh, unless you're going to do multiple runs in one go. Anyway, you to unlock the vehicle. Middle mouse. Get in his driver. And always remember to you again to lock the vehicle. No one else can get your car unless you're friends. Enter on the number pad to do inside view. L for lights. 
off we go. Oh, worth pointing out. If you look at the map, we're actually going to be doing oil. Now, if you notice on the map, there's two oil fields. There's one on the on the east side and one on the west side. For the purpose of this, we do the one on the west side because we're going to follow the road shade of the oil field and then if you're lucky follow it straight back down to the oil trader sell the goods drive across to here it's a cash machine to bank the money and then basically from there you can drive straight up again and continue with this triangle shape and as you'll see you make decent money in a short space of time and avoids um, problems with the law or rebels the only problem you've got is there's a bit of a rebel outpost here but they're not really going to bother you for oil it shouldn't do And to mark the map, if you hold control, left mouse, hold shift and left mouse, and then you'll see a distance mark on your map. changes from Altus life to Pakistan life is all legal activities no longer require a processing license so it's a lot easier for new players to get where they need to be exactly but I do believe all illegal activities still require a license best illegal um, thing to do is cocaine and mit. you make about 4 million a room James, can you navigate? I think there's a left turn up here. Um, I haven't got the uh, keep going. Keep going. What's the payment? Keep going. <laughs> 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 I'm pull over, that is past. Yeah, nice one. friendly driver there. Normally the one. Right, James, how long for the right turn? 200 metres. See, if you are doing this solo, you can always just press M, access the map, and have a look where you're going. We've got a heli here. Who's in the heli? No idea. Um, we're coming up 200 metres away from Right. Can't see the turn. Oh yeah. Well, that helmet actually caught us up. Coming the same way. Doing oil will try and rub Anything. What are you going to rub with your bare hands? Yeah. So I get on the floor. 1.5 clicks away. Yeah, let's see. I'm not going off road. Yeah, I mean, with this landscape being, um, I wouldn't call it flat, but it's not exactly mountainous. You can go off road. You just have to watch for the odd rock. Hi, right, James. Is a left turn coming up? It is and it's 150 meters in front. It left here. And this is just a straight line. Follow this right. Whoa, you see it turn right? You could have turned right. It looks like it's just up this hill. Well, obviously, there's many different methods of making money. We've just found this one to be particularly easy, easy pretty quick. And although you've just pretty much spent your 100k starting money, you'll, you'll get bulk of that back within the first run anyway. And then you can buy yourself a bigger vehicle, just take on bigger bigger loads each time. If you fill your backpack, that's about 40k, and if you fill your car as well, 30, 40, 50. So this is a site we've marked on the map, as I'll show you, at the oil, uh, oil field. Would you like to give me your keys? 
unlock the vehicle, little mouse get out. I always lock the vehicle while I'm out of it. Now for uh, the purpose of collecting the oil or drilling the oil, you can use space bar or middle mouse. Uh, I'm not bother giving you the keys for this James. And if you press Y you can you can see how much you can carry in your backpack that we bought for 5k. Uh, so I've currently got 8 processed oil, so I believe I can carry a few more. Now when you, if you press middle mouse or space bar and nothing comes up, it means that your backpack's full. So I'm currently and if you press carrying, Y, you can tell by your weight. Yeah, so I'm carrying 12 items. What I am going to do, if you walk up to your vehicle, press T, you can access the vehicle's trunk and you can store. store eight items which leaves you four which means you can collect a few more this is another advantage of not carrying food and water although you may need it depending on how long you do this for you can carry obviously more items so that's me full James you full James? Yes, I am done. So back on the map, we're going to drive straight down to the oil trader to sell the processed oil. It's too yeah, Not ideal doing this in the dark, but. Unless you have night vision, it's fine. If you do this, off road. Hello, actually, James, how close are we to the path here? I'm pretty sure you can just follow a path back. He coming this way. Now. Mm. Oh yeah, then go straight down this road around me. Now when you you've got... Check. Oh, Sorry, yeah, Jim. Here, Jim. Now when you're in first person view inside the vehicle, or in any first person view. In fact, if <laughs> it's in any view, you can double tap Alt and it unlocks the mouse so you can free, uh, sort of free look around. Which is handy in the car, looking out your rear view mirror and whatnot. Make sure you look forward to that. One little tip we can give you is if you're doing oil or especially illegal substances always carry night vision and just press L turn off your lights and knock your night vision on and uh, just to kind of stay off the grid a bit. They are 4k though so yeah. you would run a two to get them. See, it doesn't take long to get from the oil field straight to the oil trader and then from here straight to the cash machine. And obviously, daytime you can go sort of off road. You can even quicker. Going the right way, James? Yep. Left. Turning on the right road bit. Is this on the road? What? One bit of um, processed oil costs about 4k or so. so. Do you sell one item, James? How much one's worth? About 4k, I think. And do it in the car for car for four seconds. Right, so basically, uh, approach the stand here, and if you look on the map, this is the oil trader. Middle mouse. 
shows your inventory, which is basically what you're carrying in your backpack. So if you want to type in 12 items, sell the items. And there you go, 56,000 for 12 processed oil. So now we can one go on. One bit of processed oil costs 4,700. So we're going back in your trunk where you stored it earlier, take them out. Sell them. There's another 37,000. So basically 90,000, um, which gives you all the money back you've just spent in it took, what, 10, not even 10 minutes? But as you will notice, if you press Y, that money is not in your bank, it's in your pocket. So what we've got to do now, go back on the map, complete the route, straight to the cash machine. Let's see, if you look on the map, or if James, if you have a look at the map, there's, and, uh, explain some of the other things, there's that many ways of making money, legally and illegally, we just find that this is one of the simplest, quickest ways of doing it. Even if you just do this run a few times, it's just enough to get yourself a, a, a truck license and a bigger truck. Well, I'd say the pumpkin field's probably the best way to make money, but illegal. I think heroin is, isn't it? No, good cooking now. Is it? Oh shit! I thought you bought the car there. Alright, I've completely gone off road, I think, here. Oh, no, I just keep going forward and we'll hit a road. Turn left. Turn left. Have you seen? Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> that is another point as well. It's probably as advisable to buy a toolkit, uh, a repair kit for your vehicle before you set out and do this. But the problems with that, I think they're around 10 key. So if you want to try and risk it at least the first time, just be careful when you're off road, you should be fine. James, navigation, mate? Um, turn right. Here? Yeah, you Yeah, he did it. One kilometre find that this is quite a peaceful town, uh, shouldn't run into too much bother down here. But obviously just keep, be aware if you see any helicopters circling or anything like that, just watch what you're doing when you're approaching the bank. So you could like wait till you're like, taking the money and just about put it in. Here it is. The route. And then basically from here, we've emptied our truck, emptied our backpack, uh, you'll have enough food and water to do another two or three possibly and just continue the trip up there. Continue. Bank the money. Helps with night vision, but as you can see the ATM is here. Deposit. It always pays to press Y, sync your data and wait for 30 seconds if you intend on logging off. And if you were on your final uh, trip and you are logging off, it probably pays to, in this town, drive to the vehicle garage just to store your vehicle. Just to ensure it's there when you log back in.
that's it. Good luck, guys.